This mind-blowing trading strategy has gained over 14 million percent in returns with the help of the Black Scolds model. And in this video, I, I'm going to show you how the strategy works, what the Black Scolds model is, how you can use it for your own trading, how to edit your chart, how to get alerts, etc., etc. So let's dive in. First of all, the results we have. So yes, it's real. We have over 14 million percent in the backtesting period. So let's see real quick when the first trade started. I think it was 2012. So the first trade was 2012 until today as I'm recording this video. 2025, so February, around 13 years of trading. And of course, these re returns are phenomenal, but not built in a day. So you have we have to use the compounding effect. And if you keep trading a good strategy um, for months and years, then you will see these great returns. As we can see here, 14 million percent is just mind blowing. What else of statistics do we have here? So the maximum equity drawdown is around 50%. So 50% is maybe a bit too high for you, but don't worry, you can uh, change the leverage yourself with this strategy. So right now it's about uh, the leverage is one to eight. So you can use less leverage to have a lower drawdown or if you are more like risky kind of trader, you can also increase it slightly. Okay, so we had uh, around 600 trades in that uh, time. Um, 50, around 56% uh, of the trades were winners, so not so many really, but the winners were outperforming the losers by far. We have a profit factor of 1.57 around. Um, and everything else is not so important. You can check everything. We have the link in tra uh, uh, to trading view of the strategy so you can see all the statistics yourself, all performance, trades, analytics, blah, 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 etc. So you can take a look at the statistics yourself and make yourself an, uh, a better understanding of the strategy. So first of all, how does the strategy work? This is really important. Um, so it uses the Black Scolds model. The Black Scolds model is just uh, basically a big calculation model by someone i think this was his name like uh, black scolds merton model i don't know uh, it's really complicated it looks like this so a lot of mathematics and you don't have to understand it uh, um, in detail basically it was invented to calculate um if if a if an option um in op option for option trading so if you should buy or you shouldn't buy if it, there's a premium, if there's kind of a discount and the probab probability is high enough that in the uh, when you have to sell the option, you make a profit basically. So this is uh, how the strategy works. So what we did is we used this model and uh, modified it for the stock market. So for the uh, S&P 500 in this case. And we did, we did of, um, as you can see, a pretty, pretty good job um, with these results. And yeah, it kind of works very well. So this is behind the strategy. Um, I cannot tell exactly what, how it works, but it uses kind of the Black Scouts model adapted to the, the um, stock market or to the S&P 500. Okay. so. Um, how does the strategy look? So let's let's dive in how how you can how the strategy looks, how you can trade it. So uh, what we can see here, maybe this is also very important. We have a performance table, and in the performance table you can see all the results from the last years, as you can see here. For example, 2012, the result uh, for 2013, and so on until now, and also all of the month. And as you can see, most month were really profitable, and the years were all very profitable. So there was no losing year in 13 years of trading, which is, I think, a very, very uh, good sign. And um, yeah, over here we can just, uh, we can just hide the table real quick. So we don't have uh, that overlapping here. And as you can see, the strategy works really, really easy. So you just get buy and sell signals. When you see a buy signal, you open a long position and you close uh, the long position when you see that close uh, symbol here. 
You also get notified whenever you have to buy and sell when you just you can just create an alert so you get notified whenever you have to buy and sell or what you also can do is use our integrated automation service so this is um, you will ask uh, get asked for it in the checkout process when you are subscribing to any of our strategies uh, you can also use or subscribe to our automation service and then you can automate the strategy to nearly any broker so um, usually 99.9% uh, of all brokers are uh, um, we can automate uh, with our strategy so pretty easy it's done within five minutes we can help you with that so this is of course my rec recommendation to do uh, but you can also trade it manually manually it's uh, totally up to you and um, yeah, so it looks like this. You just get these buy and sell signals and then you just have to buy and sell. And as you can see, uh, it's really good at finding the tops. Um, not always, but usually. And this is, of course, how trading works. You don't have to be right uh, every time, but in the most times. And then it looks like this and you get returns like this, of course. All right. So, um, yeah, what should we take a look at so let's let's uh, take a look at the settings so how does it look so here you can set your own leverage first so um, the default leverage is one to eight for the position sizing we are uh, calculating position sizes um, in an optimized way so to reduce drawdowns and to increase profits um, this way yeah you have you have just a be better results with low drawdowns better um, profits overall profits and this way um, you can see sometimes if we just um, show the trades on the chart you can see the trades the volume the position sizes are um, some, a, a bit different from each time because uh, there's a calculation behind that optimizes the 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 position sizes here right so don't get confused here it uses uh, leverage plus the calculations some indicators etc um, the ATR for example so when you have a more volatile market you use less uh, position size or less lots um, than you would in a non-volatile market I hope you understand what I mean I'm pretty sure so uh, yeah if you decrease uh, the leverage for example this is what I said in the beginning to four for example you will see that the drawdown will be way less of course now it's not around 50% it's around 27 28% but of course the uh, profit is also decreasing um, and you can also go a bit higher if you are more like kind of a risky trader um, and then you will see the, the drawdown increases not around 50 but now around 60 percent and also of course the profit increases so it's really up to you i would just recommend to not use too much leverage because then you have a risk of a stop out of course and we don't want to blow our account so um, don't get too 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 risky here. then what else do we have here so this is all just for the automation service if you want to automate the strategy you can do so by just entering your trading username uh, give it a kind of a password a unique id or key this is uh, you use the same one in your in your broker then to identify it's your your trading your your trades basically your strategy um, you enter the correct uh, ticker or symbol from your broker so it could be like spx it could be us 500 cash for example it could be all of that so this needs to be exactly the same as in your broker and you set the start date to today so the strategy starts like today so you get the correct position sizes um, if you know what i mean because uh, in this back test of course the strategy is running already from 2012 uh, uh, 2012 until today and has gained uh, a big equity so uh, you don't want to have too large positions you want to have the position sizes correctly um, calculated for your um, initial capital this is also what you need to change so uh, use your initial capital and then whenever you get notified or when you automate the strategy you will get the correctly position uh, size positions so they are working exactly like you can see in this um, in this chart here in this equity curve so uh, like one to one like this okay that's basically it and here of course you can show and hide the performance table um, here you can see it's calculated in a um, really like a realistic uh, way so 
uh, we we use uh, a base currency as USD. You can choose any that you uh, want to trade in. You can choose your initial your own initial capital that you want to use for trading. Um, this is uh, you don't need to change that because we always use 100% uh, times the leverage. So uh, just decrease or increase the leverage here. Pyramiding is set to one. We don't want to use pyramiding and ha it has uh, less good results uh, or worse results. And the commission is set to 0.01, which is kind of realistic for most traders. But you can also set uh, the exact uh, commission from your broker. So uh, the spread, right? And the slippage is also quite, quite realistic with a, a slippage of two ticks here. Everything else is just uh, you can leave it like it is. Oh, you can change it <laughs> however you want, but you don't need to. It works like this. OK, so this is basically how the strategy works. And uh, lastly, I can show you a little um, like, uh, let's see, we can make a little replay mode here so you can see it uh, working live. So you see it's not sorry, it's not uh, repainting or anything. And it doesn't have any uh, look ahead bias, so it doesn't look ahead. Sometimes uh, there's an, an info, but it doesn't look a look ahead bias. So this means uh, it's not repainting or anything. It works exactly like this. It's real time. And we also have like a 30 day uh, guarantee. So if the strategy shouldn't work uh, as described, so should be lagging, uh, repainting or anything, you will get, of course, your money back. So uh, let's see. Let's let this let the trade strategy uh, trade now so you can see it here it's real time and here you can see the equity cu curve is growing and growing and growing not always this is this is uh, this can just happen in trading it's it's normal that you don't have a winner all the time so uh, if you are back testing the strategy um, don't worry if there is a loser sometimes, as you can see here, it will go back up. Oh yeah, and one thing I forgot to mention is uh, how you can use it yourself and add it to the chart. So first of all, of course, you need to go to uh, Pine Indicators and subscribe to the strategy so you uh, get access. And uh, if you got access, we will uh, um, notify you per email. Then you can just go to TradingView. First of all, of course, take a look again uh, at the strategy and the video so you know how to use it. But then you can go to TradingView, just click on, um, on here on the indicators, go to invite only, there you will see the strategy. Just click on it and it will, will appear on the chart just like this. And then you can backtest, you can take a look. Of course, make sure to use it on the SPX in a one hour time frame. This is important because it, it's optimized for the uh, S&P 500 in a one hour time frame. So uh, everything else I can show you won't work uh, really well like this, of course. And uh, yeah, just uh, search for SPX. I would recommend SP, SPX like this one, one hour time frame, and then you are good to go. You can backtest, etc., etc., And then you can, if you want to use it in your demo or live trading, you can just create an alert over here. Just click on the uh, alert icon here. New one, choose the um, strategy over here. Then add uh, a name, for example, SPX, uh, like, uh, like uh, Scolds, for example, one hour or something. And then you can just click on create. You can also change uh, the, the values over here if you don't want to see anything. So uh, usually it's m most important how much of a strategy position size you need to open. So you can uh, see this in your in your notification. So you can theoretically uh, delete all of this, for example, and then you see order long uh, at blah, blah, blah. And this is how, how much lot you have to uh, open. And then that's basically it. Um, here you can also set, you don't need a webhook, only if you want to automate the strategy. Uh, if you want to trade manually, you don't need a webhook. And here you can choose where you want to get notified in the app uh, with a toast notification by email, etc., which sound. And then you can just click on create. So you get notified whenever you have to um, buy or open a long position and close or close uh, exit the long position.
and that's basically it if you want to automate it you can as i said you can just uh, enter the details over here create an alert you need trading view any paid trading view account uh, or, or plan like essential is enough um, and uh, of course the automation service by pine indicators you can um, order it uh, or subscribe to it in the checkout form so that's basically it uh, yeah now so continue all right so this is the strategy uh, i hope this video was was helpful uh, if you have still questions you can always ask us in the live chat uh, we should usually reply, reply immediately otherwise we will get back to you within uh, the next couple of hours so uh, yeah if you need any help or have questions we are here to help and uh, yeah you can just try it yourself we have a 30-day uh, money back guarantee so if it shouldn't work as described you will get your money back you can cancel anytime so no problem if you don't want to use it just give it a chance and you will see if it works for you or not but the results are realistic and you can test it yourself and you will see